Hello anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Hillian South, me Hillian, along with... Rakir, who he forgot to screen share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> stream this, there we go. Uh, yeah, it has been a bit since we've done the stream with the back and with the green screen. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, first a war breaks out, then just... Uh, visitors messing things up anyways yeah welcome back to Dishonored Death of the Outsider apparently in the title it doesn't say Dishonored 2 for some reason which is a bit odd I'd say but oh well let's see last time yeah, last separate time games almost hmm? they, they, they seem to want to differentiate them the titles for your story in the loading screen corner, it said, uh, don't forget to play Dishonored 2, that it was a separate game. Okay, uh, I've messed around with the lighting a bit more, which is probably why I made the back of my chair, the, my chair is making, seeing, yeah, is a bit see-through at the moment. Uh, basically, uh, uh, basically I realized, oh yeah, there's a cap over my ceiling lamp that might be messing with the shadows a bit. And, uh, yeah, I started messing around with that. Uh, hopefully it is a bit better now. Uh, yeah. At least no part of me is see-through at the moment, except for my chair a bit. But that's okay. I really should... I really should spend some time to just try and perfect the lighting, but then I'd probably have to hang, like, five lamps from the ceiling or something. Because, like Beanie has said, it... It is just an absolute bitch to set up. Anyway, we need that because for some reason the for some Ow. reason the mouse is free of the game again. I, why is that? There we go. Now it's stuck. I, I do not get why the cursor seems to be able to escape from a game uh, from time to time. Anyway, CPU. 100 okay last time we broke into the bank after knocking everyone out with basically a gas bomb so now our job is to get the two-bladed dagger i forget the specific name of it or it now i forget the name of it other than it's, a, it's a part of its oh, name is like a yeah the double-bladed dagger of something they call it double-bladed knife, but it is actually just a dagger. Yeah. Okay. I should be able to open some doors from here. Let's see. We are here. The teller's offer is there. I hope this doesn't give off a noise or anything. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. That... Can we open up everything from this? Because we we want to make as little noise as possible because we are still... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> These people may be knocked out, but they are not completely KO. So, yeah. If we make too much noise, people will start waking up. And there's those freaking blood... Uh, no, I almost said blood flies. Uh, those clockwork soldiers are still around as well. So yeah, we will have to pref uh, be careful on some level still. Don't think we'll need to go to the restrooms. For now, we're why is this highlighted? Notice to all personnel. We have finished replacing the short, uh, shorted wiring in our security doors and relocated the main control switch to the lobby behind the teller counter. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, basically, yeah, to show where the stuff is. Let's see. Taking a peek at uh, the OBS is you know, what the OBS is showing, and I'm not seeing any fuzziness on it at the moment, so that's good. Yeah, I'm not seeing nope. fuzziness on my either. Um, yeah, yeah those are game. also still going to be a problem. 
Just as I was about to do, say, back away. <laughs> For I started uh, to hear that uh, charging up sound. Yeah, I, I think the, I think the fuzziness is really only appearing when something light uh, is behind me. Or, uh! or the rather, what I meant was if something bright is behind me. Like I, I can see the edges of the green of the effect when it's no, either completely br white or completely black. Then it's when I can see the most fuzziness. So yeah. Now then, how are we? And not outside of the game again with I do not get why that keeps happening is this far enough yes it is okay makes sense of course oh, that they have the heaviest security in the gate yeah, actual yeah inner angst atrium the heck? oh come on Ugh. okay I think there's I, something we are missing here. Yeah, where the freaking power is coming from for one. But also, yeah. I get the feeling the, it feels like the this like we were absolutely closer to this one than to that one, and we still got shocked. So what the hell? Maybe do, it was due to an angle that it could shoot us from. Maybe that's. Is there any way service door? Oh, okay, that also works. <laughs> Is there any way we can turn off the power? Good question. And also, I assume it's cheese balls. <laughs> yes, people, I no longer have no longer have us a break from snacks. The two months are over. Let's see. Is there anything here? About... Actually, we should. Uh, I do. Not... I really should look into something to keep the mouse tracked. Let's see. Foresight. That should act just as I walk in on where the power is. <laughs> okay, we can still. Oh, okay, they're powered separately. That that is smart. And we, there's an alarm over there. Okay. Now, take you, drop you, get some goodies as well. A lot of spare materials as well. Yeah, we missed a cable there. So again, I don't know how much they are worth. No. We certainly don't want to throw those things, especially in such close quarters. Let's see. And easy access as well, so we don't have to... Oh, or just pull it back completely. Okay, that also works. Oh, yeah, you still have to walk all the way around for maintenance and such, or rather you just pull a lever and it comes to you for maintenance. Yeah, though it's good. It's good idea to probably to take off the battery before you to, uh, pull them in. Otherwise, yeah, you're basically inviting death. Let's see. Private office, vault control room, in security and administration floor. Operator can maneuver the vault into different positions. Okay. Zero one one two three five eight thirteen appear to have something to do with the safes in, uh, inside the vault. Uh, keep those numbers in mind if you want to crack the safe. <coughs> okay, I see what's going on here. Uh, zero and one. Zero plus one makes one. One plus one makes two. One plus uh, two makes three. Etc. Etc. Each one is the previous two uh, <coughs> added up. And not, I don't see her. No, that's not prime numbers. Prime numbers, I believe, are ones that cannot be divided by any uh, even number or something. Hmm. That must be the vault. And it's there's the clockwork. A control room can move the vault into two places. I need to find a way to move that thing, one way or another. Why is that one green like? Okay. Now then, are there... Oh yes, there are humans around. So, 
if we take out the clockwork's head, it might go after the unconscious people. But... Bang of the week. The best things in life are expensive. Start saving today. Yeah, that's a complete lie. How does that work? It, its legs are not attached to it. What are you doing? I was looking up a bit higher to the head and such that... Okay, it must be... Yeah, electromagnetism or something. Yeah, but will that really work? Hmm, depends. You have those... Oh, hello in the uh, chat. Uh, DevJ123. <laughs> uh, doing well here. And, uh, and you? Ooh. Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to assume that it's going to attack unconscious people. So let's just try and avoid it, if at all possible. Hmm. So let's hope that there's not too many of them around. And I saw something of a bone charm nearby. Oh, corresponds between auditors. Dear Pillar, I, I'm glad that we could uh, we could all get together and determine the source of the indiscrepancies. I have dismissed the clerk responsible for the errors in our master accounts and replaced him with Lo uh, Lorca Gomez, as you recommended. Apologies again for the misunderstanding. I trust there are no hard feelings. I happily anticipate working closely with you in the future. Cordially, Tian. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm okay. Tell your friend I said hi. <laughs> hi, Dirk here. Hello, hello to you, lad. Okay, I'm going to get annoyed by that thing's, you know, you know voice. Let's see. Corroded mind. Effects of the outsider's influence, the anatomical evidence clearly demonstrate that the mind itself deteriorates under the outsider's influence. Its conclusion is inescapable when you examine the behavior of his followers. Observe the case of a young woman devoted to the strictures and pure by all accounts, who fell into corruption by mere belief in the outsider. There was no vice she would not stoop to, the slaughter of animals for superstitious rituals, wishing harm to others through heretical spells and curses, desecration of texts with profane writing. Her errant mind led to rampant flesh and a lying tongue. Soon she abandoned every guiding principle and ran away in the night. Her abused and gravid body was donated to the Abbey two years later. Autopsy revealed deterioration to the connecting mobile tissue. Her mind was visibly divided, corroded beyond repair, all from belief in the outsider. I very much doubt it was just from belief in the outsider. I'm guessing a lot of alcohol and drugs probably helped that as well. But yeah, whatever helps them with their propaganda they take. Yeah. Let's see do we now. do know that if people are not marked, but outsider make tamper with some magic can have severe side effects? Let's see. Uh, where are you guys from? Uh, well, I'm from the Netherlands, and Rakir is from Sweden. Correct. Let's see. Clerks, please reset the coin counter when the day's uh, counting is complete. It throws off our tallies if the counter is set high. Yeah, best pillar. Okay. <coughs> we could probably mess with that thing if we wanted to mess with the bank. Let's see. Can we actually pick these people up? No, oh, but well, okay, we can just pick them up and knock them out extra. Uh, but yeah, that fails the that fails that quest by as a mouse. So <laughs> let's just check, go back to the checkpoint because that was really dumb. we're not allowed to knock them out even. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, your English is really good. Thank you. I actually scored better on English than on my own language. That must be the vault. Okay. It's okay. Kind of fancy elevator. A control room can move the vault into two places. I need to find a way to move that thing. Well, yeah. One way or another. The reason I did that was I want to open the cash register, but that would probably wake him up. Well, yeah. But gotta wonder if <laughs> I'm pretty sure the entire bank falling unconscious with 
count as messing with the uh, staff as well. So, yeah. Yeah, do they want you to do that so you wouldn't need to mess with them too much? Yeah. Let's see, what is this? Hmm? Oh, that's just for that. I was thinking <laughs> that's some sort of mechanism. My mouse is free from the game again. Like, really? Why does that keep happening? Still. What? Ugh. What? Yeah, I, I don't usually save scum like this, but this is just the, the, my computer being stupid. Ugh. Yeah, give you a pause for that one for... That again. It's some is kind that, of is one elevator. thing to do it when the computer is messing up with things? Room can move the vault into two Better places. when you mess up. I need to find a way to move that thing. Still, it's escaping. Uh, I. Uh, uh, I. I really do not get why the. Hey, who is... Okay, that was me from just being frustrated with this thing. Seriously, wh why is the. Why is the game not holding the mouse back now? That must be the vault. It's some kind of. Yeah, it's running in windowed mode at the moment to Control make things run smoother. Two places. Uh, isn't there, isn't there a setting for it? One way or another. Oh, that, for some reason it had a task manager set as the primary one. Oh. Yes. Why? Okay. What is? going on with this okay, OBS and click into the no not shrink the game down <clears throat> let hold now now it will hold for some reason I I, I just gonna do not get this stuff <clears throat> okay that's for the alarm here hmm Oh, I forget that things can see behind them as well. Let's see. Do you want help with this mission? Uh, maybe if we get stuck, but for now, it, the only thing that's keeping me stuck is the stoop. Uh, is the game refusing. Not. <coughs> Pardon? Is the game refusing to play ball with the mouse for some reason? Okay. Do not touch them. And do not hit anything near them. Already been here, seen the note. Thank you for the mental image. Of you throwing a ball at a mouse. <laughs> okay. Can do with a bit of food. Okay, that's where they were. Uh, but yeah, if, if we get stuck on something, you're free to offer advice if you'd like. For now, though, we're just going to keep sneaking around. Let's see. Definitely not picking anything up that can break if we drop it. <coughs> ah, there we go. That's the power line. Very obvious and very heated as well, apparently. Okay. Okay. The clockwork got startled by that or something? What you probably didn't happened? notice that you turned something off. Oh, one of the guards woke up from that. Ooh, and he... he He's going to... Oh, yeah, he's right next to it. Of course he's going to hear that thing zapping off. If he's going to start moving around, he might start waking people up. failed the mission yet how the heck do you glide 
stairs. We didn't have determination, I'm guessing. Okay. Do we? F <coughs> uh, let's see. Contracts. Yeah, quite as a mouse still works. I'm not going. Uh, I'm not going to save scum again. That was just my own. <laughs> that was my own fault for not looking where the stupid thing was beforehand. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, hi, in the chat, General Kenobi. Uh, lots of tiny legs. <laughs> That's how. Ah, General Kenobi. <laughs> we meet again. Yeah, and of course he does the line. I don't need to say it for you to know it. And uh, <laughs> Devon J. Is your friend playing this too? No, he's just uh, looking along. He's a uh, yeah. He's a co-commentator. He watches and uh, commentates. <laughs> as well, it help as an extra brain on Dolores, occasion. Oh, Billy said something there. Okay. <laughs> it seems we did get away from them. And we didn't fail it. Okay. The Raptor's office and it immediately goes towards the vault, I'm guessing. D. M. Oh, Dolores. Uh, do you really have to hang up your own name like that? Oh. At least it's inactive. Hello. <laughs> you are a bolt one? Uh, if that's a reference, I'm missing it. Um... Uh, Okay, that's probably a panic button, so let's not. <laughs> You're trying to shake this stupid cough. And here's another one of these things, whatever the hell they are. But we can turn those... And there's the blade. The twin-bladed knife. Okay, that's the name. Yeah, even though it's a dagger? What is that thing? It looks familiar. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Looks like an excavation of sorts. That's an eye. Yeah, but it looks to be rock or something around it. Hmm. <laughs> I need that. Well, nothing else had for that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's see. Do you like this game so far? I definitely do. I enjoyed the previous Dishon games as well. And I do hope that they will go for another one as well, eventually. Uh, let's see. We do not actually. Yeah, there, there seems there might be a chance there might, but oh, not fully hello. confirmed yet. Okay, I thought I thought this would link directly to the clockwork, but apparently not. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Here's hoping that it doesn't also activate the clockwork. Dolores Michaels likes to keep all her secrets where she can see them. Okay. Black bone charm, familiar scent. What is that then? Familiar scent. Wolfhounds cannot smell. Oh yeah, we do. Not, we definitely want that. Ooh. <laughs> I I sort of I missed which one I swapped out with that one. So let's put strong arms there instead. And what is all of this? A mining camp in the mountain. But it's not right. It's been changed by the void. It doesn't exist. Or shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Invitation for Dolores. <coughs> Known that your dedication has not gone unnoticed, we have conferred and agreed that you will be among the next selection to join us in our inclusion and communi communion. <coughs> And it would be wise to begin whatever preparations are necessary to divest yourself of your attachments in Karnica. The possessions and connections you have in this life will not be permitted here. We will contact you again in due course. Enclosed with this letter are several documents. I entrust them to your care. Study them with devotion and protect them with your life. May the eye watch you. 
Okay. That's... Why would a... Why would the director of a bank, who's definitely getting paid well, want to join a cult that wants them to put, throw away all of that? Or is this more of a case of uh, throw all of that away in exchange for a lot more or, or godhood or something? <laughs> I'm curious now as well. Mm. No, so I've upgraded my little water bottle to just a big honking thing. <laughs> Here we go. Tenth day, month of timber. Another day of smiling at these wealthy fools and taking their treasures. I wonder how they'd feel if they knew their shabby little family heirlooms don't interest me. No, I seek a far greater prize. A jewel of immeasurable worth. Immortality. Yeah, of course, that is why people would throw that away. <clears throat> From the moment I first learned of the cult's great secret, I knew I must have it. Everything I once valued, wealth, power, influence, it all faded to insignificance. What material possession can compare to eternal life? And if having it means I must live in some filthy mine worshipping black stones with gullible tools or fools, then so be it. A small price to pay for such rich reward. To stare down the unblinking eye of time itself. Okay, that must be the eye they speak of. <coughs> to laugh down the centuries as the wealth of the Isles falls to dust around me, that is the only treasure worth having. Uh, yeah, until you eventually run into the heat death of the universe and then, uh, yeah, enjoy eternity into nothing. <coughs> oh dear. Same day? Okay. Before I can seize my immortality, I must deal with the mess Chen Fuegos uh, created. I would say to take that traitor. The cult can never know that he stole the documents they entrusted to me. <coughs> mm. If the information about their secret void entrance fell into the wrong hands, it would destroy everything. My plans would be ruined. No, I can't let that happen. Those irregular sisters have, si sisters have closed off the royal conservatory, but that is a minor setback. As I know well, there's always a you know, way past the most secure defenses. I just need to think of it. Okay, sounds like <clears throat> sounds like we're headed minor there next. Then I'm guessing <laughs> minor <laughs> obstacle, not minor setback, but it basically means the same thing. <clears throat> okay, don't know why my throat is acting up now. Uh, let's see, Dev J MJ, uh, maybe she is insane. Hello, and then General Kenobi, I have a great recommendation for you. May I link something in chat? Uh, go ahead. I won't be able to check it on stream at the moment, but I will check it out after. <clears throat> Good. I have the vault key. Oh dear. What else is she hiding? They know way into the void. Oh, it's a camera. Cien Fuego sent Isla's documents to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find out what he knew. The conservatory yeah. is my next step. Yeah, like we guessed. Is Janet's? What is this? Where will Janet's address book? But I'm get. I'm guessing next up will be the conservatory, and after that, this mine, or that will probably be the last, if the second last location, perhaps. Let's see. Entry Tuesday. Uh, crates of raw silk came through in bulk, uh, for the bulk garment order. The girls sew fast, but slack off after 12 hours of work. A touch of the cane helps them recover their energy. Molten enjoys encouraging them, but now we're down two workers due to injuries. Really? <coughs> Friday, one of the girls set a fire. Molten thinks she was trying to signal for help, but she almost burnt the factory down instead. Gee, I believe we've heard that story a few times in the past. Yeah. <laughs> it was a grisly sight unlocking the doors. Charred bodies everywhere, still some chains to their sewing machines. We lost six workers to the fire and another 11 to smoke. We'll snatch replacements from the dock soon. The garment order went out into Jets experting on time. Uh, after Wednesday, after the fire, the guards have been asking questions around town. No one's talked yet, but it's only a matter of time. Scouting for a new location. <coughs> Monday, set up shop in an old warehouse by the Santiago Fisheries. <coughs> it's, you know, for three. Well, there no road. We move tonight. Okay, copy down that address. We are going to fuck someone up. Oh, then we'll take that, and we'll definitely take gold. I almost thought that she woke up from that. 
Okay. And seriously, quiet as mouth was completed now. It's. Oh, right, yeah. It's to deter barrel Janet at appointment. So we need to copy that. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, sweatshops. We've heard plenty of times already in the past how those go absolutely terrible. Especially when fighting with fires. I can recall at least two shops. occasions of entire buildings burning down because of that shit. Wait, wait, that's a sweatshop. <laughs> yep. I thought sweatshop was with... something else. <laughs> well, the term sweatshop can apply to many things. It's more of a term to describe uh, basically, it's basically somewhere between, no, let's just call it directly. Uh, where laborers are subjected to slavery, or as good as slavery, locked into areas, forced to work extreme hours, and in their, on their, um, <laughs> I switched to Dutch for half a second, <coughs> uh, under, uh, yeah, just abominable working conditions, and with safety that's just as shit as everything else, so that would be okay. I thought it was just a, another word for gym. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't think there's anyone nearby enough. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Even if it's complete, if you make noise, it undoes it. Okay, I'm keeping that in mind. Not that we were planning on going loud anyways now. Uh, Ikea infusion bottle with straw. Okay. And I was going to... Yeah, come on. I was planning on... Nope. I was planning on shopping at Ikea anyways, before a new uh, cap for the lamb, because currently it's hanging naked. Uh, basically, what I have is the, one of those bulbs that's changed color and brightness with control like this, so this will probably mess with the uh, green screen a bit. Uh, not as much, it seems. Yeah, it's not as much. But, I see a new yeah. poster. <clears throat> yeah, I, currently it still has two open spaces on it. I, I'll see about getting two extra lamps, seeing if that might help with it. it what's this? Northwald. Okay, that's more of the whaling stuff. Okay. For a second, I thought it was the freaking Skyrim logo here. <laughs> Damn! Because that's also in the stretched out diamond like that. Oh. Not this time, you motherfucker. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now it's personal. <laughs> I can hear that in Helion's tone. It's personal. Okay. Actually, yes. Let's see, you are here, your power source is directly here. Is there anything else going on around here? There's a chain. Okay. That chain probably connects to... Oh, we can sneak around that way. <clears throat> I could hear it going off. Yeah, it's same. Charging up. It needs a direct line of sight, luckily. Yeah, it's probably why he shot you on the lamp uh, at the earlier time. Yeah. For the one right blue could not <laughs> hit you, but the other one could. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we are directly above the vault, I'm guessing. Okay. Hmm. Cleverly done, at least, with this. With it being right in the middle there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down that there. Hope, hopefully we will keep. Now, now we'll see a bit of a test. Do we keep our own orientation, or do we keep? Do we uh, use the 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 markers one? Ooh. Yeah, 
not fast enough. <laughs> almost! You almost had it! Yeah, just a bit closer. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. What does oblada mean? And I'm guessing that means something like a, a ladder or something. <laughs> or do you mean something with this or something? Where did you see that? Uh, let's see. Movie time. Good luck with the game. Okay, you have fun with that. <laughs> Timing. Have, have fun at the movies. And uh, let's see. The outsider really said, "Hey, you, fi you, you're finally awake." <laughs> That's the Skyrim meme of just fading in on that. Okay. Escaped it again. Let's see. Going to OBS, clicking that, and then moving to the game work last time. Yes, now it's stuck. Okay, now we know how to keep it stuck like that at least. And I keep mistaking that one with this place here. Okay. There we go. No. Oh yeah, last time you put the, the, the character way too far away from it. Yep. Okay, we're above the vault now. <clears throat> oh, climb. It helps. Let's see. Okay, what was now? What was it talking about now? Oh, hello. Emily Caldwin, I heard. And this guy's just absolutely not interested in the fact that all of his co-workers are knocked out, apparently. Let's see. Vault track release. Caution. Release only one coupling at a time. It, it, I'm guessing if we release these, this thing is just going to go crashing down. And they're locked anyways. Or, well, they were locked. Break coupling. Yeah, I get the feeling this thing is going to come crashing down. Hmm. Yeah, and I think I was doing that song about the dialogue. He haven't checked on them yet. He doesn't know they all are asleep yet. Yep. <laughs> yeah, even in the probably one of the most well-paid jobs in the country, the guards are still lazy as all hell. <laughs> Let's see. That or too dedicated to his work. That he's too dedicated to stand guard. Then forget to be a bit flexible. <clears throat> well, this is Karnaka, and well, we've seen what most of the guards here are like. There is at least one other guard that is awake, I think. <clears throat> yep, because I heard a female voice chasing after us as well. Okay. Now, let's just go down to the security part. I'm sure it's Check out that... Someone just heard a dog bark or something. Of course, now we're all on edge. Even the air is different. Something's coming. I'm sure of it. Something about the holder of the... Okay. Hmm. Makes sense that they, the security office would be heavily... <coughs> Would be heavily defended as well. Let's see. This was blocked from the other side. This whole business has me on pins and needles. Jumping at anything. Hmm. Okay. Oop. Thank you. We just stole a pen off of them. <laughs> Inoperable. Okay, is there another way we can sneak in? Did I just hear something? Yeah, I heard something. It sounded like something whizzing by or wings. Don't tell me that there's blood flies in here as well. Uh oh. Or may oh, could have been an electrical discharge. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a bit sad for. 
I think uh, using blood fallies as a, go a god system is probably a very bad idea. Okay, she heard us walking. <laughs> I'll have a look okay. <clears throat> uh. I, I do not get one. Okay, I, I think I can get one way reason why my throat is acting up now because I'm talking a hell of a lot more. Yeah, that sometimes happens. Hmm? Okay, we've read that one as well. It's just Dr. Govani fanboying over Sokolov. Ah. Thank you. Where appear you missed something else in the shelf? Something yeah. big, toothy? Nope. Oh, we are definitely not activating that thing. Lunch time! Okay, there was a noise yeah. again there. The color of the sea <laughs> yesterday. Bad omen. Bad, bad, bad. Where you okay. at? What happened to the sea? Is she not going to move from there? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, that's a problem. Hmm. Okay, so... <clears throat> That's just about them being, uh, yeah, subsidized or something by the crown, or I, f I don't know. I forget the specific word for it. Just doing this for ease of it, in case we need to flee up here. Let's see. Gotta go now. It was nice to talk to you. Okay. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Be, Be safe. Well. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm to put down a save here just for a check. And if we send this thing to the first floor, do we get spotted and will she get attracted <laughs> by the oh, ping? The look on his face. Well, who is yeah, he of course, she's not going to spot the us through a door. Oh, but it is going to... No, she's not... You can at least go to the... <clears throat> the basement. Let's see. Oh. Electrified floor. Wait, I think I, think I saw something that can help you with the electrified floor water. I don't think Bruce is going to help, Stop. even if it were full. <laughs> no, 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 the broom. I think we have something better than a uh, pogo falling over. I was thinking of flying, but all right. <laughs> is it I still electrified over down. there? I don't. I don't see the effect flying over. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should have used forecast. But... The contract is still good. <laughs> Let's see what our specific up is actually. It uh, means no getting caught and no harming bank. Okay, so we haven't actually been spotted directly, I believe, or by a human at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think we care anything about opening up an account here. Okay, oop. Wait out. Okay, how were they walking around? 
I'm guessing it works similarly to uh, <laughs> similarly to the uh, uh, gate of what is it? Not the, both the arc pounds and the the wall of light. That's it. Okay. Okay, that's pro probably the case. Yeah, it it works similarly, probably to some sort of badges or something. <clears> Thank <throat> you. Okay. I think there was. It sounded like there was a guard here. Drop bone charm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is very much still on the construction. At least the director's clockwork sentinels run their protocols on schedule. <coughs> yeah, good thing I put down that save. Ooh. Okay, at least we've avoided combat and it Gee, security chief Penna, okay. Why are they smiling? Yeah, she's talking about the sentinel. This there's actually a smile carved into their faces. You will note that now. Yeah, I've kind of been busy running away from them. The the, the smiles have even been on the loading screens. Yeah, really, she's bragging. <laughs> Seems like uh, Miss Michaels is as much a narcissist as the inventor of the clockworks. Come on, won't hurt you. Okay. Morgan, you, I believe. Wait, oh. <laughs> Morgan Yu, I believe that's a name they used for one of the main characters in Prey. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to, to find a note somewhere with the <clears throat> with the first two numbers, and then we have to find the next one. Or wait, then we have to calculate the next one. Okay, warrant holder. What does it even mean? Let's see. Always alert. Always. They don't gotta say it twice. You are going that way. That means that we can drop down here. Unlimited traps on their primary Michael's account and a set of Sabilla cookie knives. Join today. Oh, he's going to sleep. Okay, that makes it a lot easier for us. Now we're there. Leapfrog. And what are you, Leapfrog? This place costs no void energy if used close to an unaware character. This place interpenetration is all will always kill you? O okay. <clears throat> So basically, we can use the power for free in near someone, but if we telefrag someone with it, uh, we die as well. Uh, yeah. oh, come on. Stupid Yeah, that's a risky trade-off. Yeah. Just gotta keep in mind not to uh, <laughs> teleport into someone. Not that we'd want in, in the first place, because it hurts us. <laughs> Any notes here that I'm overlooking? Oh, yeah, that's his grammar again, or memoir. That's the newspaper. Other than that, no notes here by the looks of it. Hmm. Wait, don't we already have notes on us? 
We need. <clears throat> yep, Sean, use key. Yeah. And then that's one of the keys needed for the lockbox or save. Wait, or wait, save wait, box. Save the numbers, ain't that? Yeah, yeah that, that's the uh, the additive numbers. That is, that's the uh, cipher. To uh, <clears throat> that's the cipher for how to figure out the last number. We just need to know the other numbers. We just need something to start from. Unless that is what we need to start from. He's over there. Let's see. Oh, it's getting close. Come on. Billy. Can we... I'll take a peek what's in these. <clears throat> Journalist lockbox notes. And just a gemstone in that one. And here on Bertie the Bird? What? And a bunch of gold. And that is... Whose? I can't see the name on it at the moment. Let's see. Luigi Govani. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Let's get security and administration. Yeah, I'm guessing security might have... <coughs> you know, anything on the codes. Can't go quite far with this. Yeah, we can't do anything there at the moment. Uh, let's go back up to the director's office. Yeah, they, they should have the codes. And she's still there. Yeah, we need to lure her away. And best way I can think of is to go to accounting. Make a bit of noise and hope she comes down. Actually, entire shipment of oil oil tanks just gone. Take it right to the room. Hey, at last. <laughs> okay, that was that was dumb. Uh, sh shall we take just quite as a mouse failing, or shall we reload on that bit? Reload on that, but that was a. Were you intending to hit the fence? Yeah, I was, but I was only in, in, intending for one of them to get startled by that. And once again, the mouse has gotten loose from it. So are you... Yes, you are stuck again now. And at least we know now that there, we have nothing to find here at the moment. So, yeah, that's been turned off. So we displace. And uh, this time... Did we... Did we telefrag a rat or something there? Because I think something just blew up. Hmm. Does this thing even ping? I didn't notice it if it pinged before. Yes, it does. Okay. Hmm. Then we head to the director's office and part way through we give it a knock. As we... There she goes, and there we go. Of course, the fact that the elevator is moving around has absolutely nothing to do with all of the noise. Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Hey, wake up. I need you to let me in. Outsider's eyes. If Pena caught me sleeping on the job, he'd make me run the shock walk. <clears throat> May I have the code, please? Oh, I, uh, I need to find it. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one screwing up today. 
Check in with Chief Pena. He's in the archives running an inspection. Just uh, don't tell him about my lapse of attention. Okay, for a moment I thought, what the hell, do we have a contact inside or something? But no, we need to go find a code to get in. If we had Maybe. possession or something, we could, or shadow walk, we could sneak through that little hole, but we don't. At least we know where the penna is. He's the, with the clockwork. Yeah, he's downstairs. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, we probably have to impersonate him to get in there. We do not need to, since uh, we just need the code, uh, and he has the code. Yeah, but if we impersonate him, we can... Someone in there is awake now, and that can end badly if we get spotted by them, or... Oh yeah, they will recognize who so... you are, probably, from all the water pointing posters. <laughs> yeah, that and, well, <laughs> just being, you know, just having someone awake in there would also be bad for us. Let's have a look. If he carries anything, do you have? Yes, you have a pistol and a pouch with a document on it. Okay. Wait, learn. Don't forget. Okay, it said learn the authorization code. For a second there, I thought it acted as if we. Do have the new uh, codes with me? <sighs> yes, got him. Yeah. Okay, a bit of new dialogue. Ooh. Perfect. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Give all clear. Code it. Some in a security atrium. Yet pilots recalibrated. Uh, late citation. Okay. This is what I needed. Just going to put down a save, just so we can try this, but what if we impersonate him? Uh, actually, no, 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 we need we need to knock him out for that. I'm pretty sure. Can we do that? If we do can that, we... we fail. All the better that we put down a save. Let's check. Powers. Semblance. Impersonate another human, steal someone's identity, leaving them unconscious. Yeah, we are not touching him, we just need the code. Okay. Half his not, life? That, yeah, I, I think that's a joke that if we can take however long we want. <laughs> okay. if, uh, just imagine if it was true, though. Now, before we enter, we're going to take a peek through the windows. With foresight. Can we even move through these? No, we cannot. Okay. So we'll just move around. There we go. Auto Let's see. Yep, there is someone in there. And we have a security. Yes, that's an electrified floor. Oop. Okay, just one more for reconnaissance. Just let it charge a bit. Because that one is going to stay awake now. He'll probably... Yeah, we'll have to walk past him, of course. But we can just displace past him. Let's see, is there really no other way in? There's an alarm, there's an electrified floor with the power at the other side of it, I'm guessing. A knocked out employee. And there's a switch to open up the door. Oop. No, we do not want to go down. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it looks like this is the only way that we have access to at the moment. Never earned those medals. And again, the uh, there we... Some of our, we've been able, we've got, let's see, we got the agility power through this, so maybe if we'd found more bone charms, we would have found the uh, shadow walk, uh, a shadow walk bone charm. I'm not sure if there would be a specific shadow walk bone charm, but there's a chance that there is someone in there or out there somewhere that we could use to just go through the vents. But since we don't have that... Requesting entry to the security office. Code B15D. Okay. Let me just zoop. Okay, those old one motherfuckers are still asleep. Oh, hello. There's 
Hmm. Yeah, some people take ostracization as validation of them being correct. Like, I'm, I must be right because they all say I am wrong. Oh. Let's see. It's just a charging dock for these things. Clockwork Sentinel's owner's manual. Okay, your Clockwork Sentinels are marvels of Kirin Jindash's ingenuity, but malfunctions may occur. Please read the information below carefully to avoid potential fatalities. Clockwork Sentinels are protected by armored ceramic plates. If an attacker destroys these, there is nothing, uh, uh, nothing protects the vulnerable mechanics underneath from damage. If something knocks off a sentinel's head, run away immediately. The sentinel will attack anyone it can, ally or not. It will spare no one, not even you. Sentinels have a small panel with that allows them to be rewired. Rewiring inverts each, uh, <coughs> each sentinel's perception of danger, turning friends into foes and enemies into allies. You are in extreme danger should this occur. Please keep these instructions in mind when confronted by malfunctioning sentinels. It could save your life. Remember, your best option when attacked is always to flee and summon trained ground guards to handle the situation. Basically, let them die for it instead. And they use ceramic plating? Like... Yeah, that's probably how? also why these are prototypes. Because, yeah, Jindar's replaced the... No, actually, these are... The idea is that these are old models. Uh prototypes that Jindar's uh, manufactured for a while until he swapped to the wooden ones, I'm guessing. Probably because the wooden ones were cheaper to make. And, and replace sense. Since when are hard. is ceramic... Is it, I know ceramic nice, but... Since when is ceramic... Is ceramic good for plating as a protection? I, I believe some body armors, like, I believe... I've heard something about dragon scale body armor that uses uh, ceramic plates. Yeah, dude, that's, that's probably a bit more modern version of it, I guess. Yeah, good chance, yeah. Let's Unless they see. figure out a ceramic here as well that's equally strong. Okay, we can't move through those. Hmm. Okay. How do we move on to the next room then? You cannot move that through. Hmm. You could probably take the damage. I'm, I'm guessing these shock electrified floors aren't as lethal as the uh, normal arc pylons. But still. I think they are. Yeah, we can we can drop down a save and check. Let's see. Nope. Chloroform Grenade. bottle. Why why does someone here have chloroform? Hmm. Good question. Let's do his foresight, scout the inside a bit. Maybe he has an off button or something over there. First, let's see. All linked together, and yeah, this is the power button. Yeah. I'm really guessing that there is a, uh, a, a bone charm that gives us the shadow walk or possession something to move through somewhere. I don't think we, we've, we've gotten a few notifications that there is a bone charm nearby, but we haven't actually found... Well, we found two of them, I think. I hmm. think so? Let's see. Only Wait. And he only has the little hole there in his room. Yeah, that's for that one. So where would this one oh. even connect? Oh, here. Hmm. Do we... Did we miss one, perhaps? Did we miss that we might have that or something? Let's see. 
Forcible throw, fleet fighter, no. I very much doubted that we can craft one because we need a... Well, we need the original to make copies. Um, actually... Yeah. Wait, can't we turn into rats? No. But we can do this. We can do a cat. <laughs> Oh, that is that why I'm? That's what I was hearing. I, I, we were hearing the, uh, the copy, crumble. So, yeah, that, that wasn't any rats we were just planning. We were just <laughs> hearing the, yeah, the copy fall apart. Let's see. Oh dear. Just in case, since we, our power regenerates anyways. That looked more like a throw than a drop, but okay, at least it didn't blow up. <laughs> I wonder, could you insert an empty bottle? Probably. That would probably that, that... be a bit smart in the stealth version, in that, that way people will presume that the power just ran out or something. Yes, well, I leave them a bit distracted for a moment. There we go. Control room, and what is this? Vault maintenance? Really, were your people that bored? <laughs> Michael's bank treasures your business. We're, our pockets are full of pens by now, so we can't pick up any more. Let's see. You have any documents? Nope. And now we need to reach over them. Let's see. Archives, director's office, secured. Okay. Let's send it up. Why is the vault open? What's going on? Okay. Yeah, just to make sure on that there. Let's hope that doesn't draw too much attention. And yeah, that's it. Just goes around again. Okay. Hmm. Stay right there. Security wants a word with you. Security to the vault control room. Security to vault control. Oh crap! Please investigate suspicious activity. Security to the vault. Repeat. Security to the vault. Robbery in progress. Security to the director's office. Repeat. Security to the director's office. Robbery in progress. Okay, no, just screw it. Okay, what's that? Oh, I, I think I know. We could probably use the code book to uh, give an all clear. Yeah, we, we... I think that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, did we get a checkpoint at that? Let's see. Yep, we did. Okay. Whew. Okay, just a lesser bit. Uh... Why is the ball rolling? What's going on? Everything is fine. Just testing the mechanism. There we go. That wasn't scheduled. Nobody tells me anything. There we go. That it's saves us a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that wasn't broadcast into the archives, so because I'm pretty sure the security chief would have uh, raised a stink if he heard that. He, he was just directly contacting the control room. But, yeah. Uh, I should have thought to do that the first time when I saw that microphone in there. But, well, it was rather obviously there. Show uh, yourself. No thanks. No one able chickens. 
we'll just use this. I clicked out the game again. Repeat this little ritual. I, I, I do not get why that keeps happening. The game just loses focus, apparently. Good here. Come on. I think she likes you. What was that? Someone else heard that as well? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. It was coming from here. Let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. <laughs> they won't know what's missing until it's too late. Okay, the eyeless save. This has to be the one. Thank you. You and I were both abandoned to uncertain futures on dangerous streets and taken in by murderers. Doubt spared your life all those years ago, but I was taught a lesson that you still haven't learned. Someone stay with you, even in the void. Give it to me. I don't have time for this. Time repeats the same unending patterns. 4,000 years ago, this knife cut my name away. Forgotten forever. You know what it's like to lose one name and live with another. We are all made by the things that are taken from us. I've seen the people you've twisted with your poisonous magic. You know what I want. You know I'm coming for you. I know more than most. I know that time is bleeding into itself around you. I know that you have felt it, and you are searching for the places where the world has broken against the void. I know that doubt is done when you left him on your ruined ship, and you will carry that knife with you to face me at the black center of all things. Why are you doing this? Why are you talking to me now? I'm here because you are different. The Void has found you through the cracks in your broken life. And when you cut me out of it, what will remain? What will you leave behind when you walk away? What does the Outsider want from me? Doubt. Is he really gone? I have the knife. I need to get back to the Dreadful Will. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what he was trying there. <laughs> Let's see. Can we see seeing these? Some ore, some a pouch, some feathers. Nothing in that one, of course. Old diary. Okay. Out of the abyss. And what was that about? The Note on. Um, wait, what is. Wait. Something from Anton Solkolov? But did I see that right? Uh, I think I saw a different name. Turns out this one is the only one with keys instead of a dial like this. Let's see, one last look. A note on Clockwork Allegiance. And was that. Miss. Oh, it's looking at the book here. Uh. Oh, I okay, just I... remember something. I'm I was about looking this up one. about the Dishonored Free. Yeah. Someone mentioned that that the the two main characters, uh, you know, from the first and second game, uh, Emily and oh, what was it, Corvo. That their story is done. That the developers uh, just state out that their stories are done. And the YouTubers was about it mentioned it, said that one of the things that we would need to do for a sequel is new areas, like or the islands or the supercontinent, which mm -hmm. I agree on. Do she oh. said something that something the worst thing they could do is open world. I'm 50-50 on that. Open world can be good or bad depending on how you do it. And then she said no new characters 
as the main character. Which I am very disagreeing with since you will need to introduce new main characters sooner or later after all. Yeah. Let's see, I give a few more a try. Oh, oh, no, I was that note. I think that note was for. Um, mission clues for the lock boxes. I think that was. Let's see. It's, uh, oh no, the safes inside the vault. Okay. Yes, I did tell you that. Okay, I thought it was from the note from the locks boxes. Uh, let's see. Let's. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Not lean. So basically, go through the counting thing. Hmm. Okay, then we went. I think I heard something with one of these eight thirteen or something. I can hear that, but I there's no option to open it now. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, zero, one, two. Okay, wrong. One, two, three. And two, three. Oh, click. Okay, why did the click but not become openable? And do they all need to be opened or something? That'd be awkward. Nope, that one was quick. Yep, again, I do the wrong thing there. Three, five. No. Five, eight. It can't be the same as the other one, can it? Yep, it was already set on that. Hmm. And then one, three. Okay. Two eight plus fifteen makes forty three. Okay. Hmm. And let's give this one a last try to see if this one will open. Okay, these two don't seem to be listening to that code then, I'm guessing. Hmm. Wait. No. One. No. This one ends with one. This one starts with two. This one ends with three. That one doesn't. Six isn't in the line, but five is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, void, well, void strike. Hold in order to charge your sword with void energy, then release it on enemies to slash them from a distance. Damage is low, but your uh, target will be thrown in the direction of the sword slice. Okay. You can also use this to break objects or interact with the environment. Okay. That sounds nice. And uh, what is. Um, who's that? Oh, so you use the knife now as a weapon. Okay, I, I thought that I thought that one was still downstairs. So okay, one la one very last save scum. Uh, okay. Again, click OBS, click game to refocus it. Now 
Where is this bone charm then that it's complaining about? Whispers from the Void, we already know that one. Ancients. Progre Progress with Dinjoss is safe. Okay, we missed that earlier. It's a good thing that we double check. Oh, there's one in here. Okay. We got... We got the code for this one. Let's double check to hear it click. Yeah, it, it definitely clicks, but there's no option to open it. Weird. Hmm. But is every number need to be correct? Yeah, I, I believe Less the click way. should just be it's. Oh, where is it? Each of these. No, it, it wouldn't click on just one. That one clicked as well. Yeah, because we set it back to Discord, it, it it should be openable now, I think. But it's just not. Unless we need the keys for the other one to activate them. Yeah, I find that there's no keyholes, though. Uh, wasn't there one that need keys? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we... Wait. What's that symbol? I, bl I believe that's the... The, the, that's the symbol that the eyeless are using, I think. Okay. Oh, okay, the blade reforms itself as we shift between these. Okay, that's cool. Now, over there. Is this going to be a hint? Progress to Jindar's save. Now, I've discovered a way to open Jindar's private safe in the vault. I have concentrated on opening only his box, number one. But that approach was misguided. Nowhere near clever enough for the Grand Inventor's diabolical intellect. If my suspicions are correct, entering the correct 15-digit <laughs> code into each safe will open all the security boxes at once, including Jindash's. Then you may empty it for use by other clients. Please come by my workroom so I can show you my progress with the code. Mrs. Uh, Campo uh, has moved me to the top floor of the lobby by the stairs. Okay, so... We could get the codes from there, perhaps. Though, so we now have the issue of the guard that's returned here. Yeah, wait, don't, don't we all have the code? Now, we, we need we need all five of them to be uh, put in. It's these two that do not respond to uh, the code uh, or to the cipher. Oh. So, we need something different. From those. Okay, you're, are you going to stay there? Okay. Um. Let's let's at least take a look. I, if things get a bit too hairy, we just head straight for the exit. Wait, reminds me, where are we to find the painting? Uh, painting? That's mission clue. No, not contracts. Oh, yeah, the art connoisseur. It's, it's, uh, it's currently locked up in a delivery. Oh, that's that's in the delivery boat outside we, that we need a key for. All right. No. <laughs> Top floor of the lobby. Easy access through here. The first scouting. Okay, that one's retracted. That... Yeah, we should be clear from anyone active from there on. Just in case I forget, I'm going to mark this guy so we don't forget that he exists. <laughs> and mark that one. Because I will otherwise completely forget that they are there. Yeah, I wonder, can we kill those without failing the mission? Um, I think the, the bigger issue with the clockworks is likely that they'll kill someone else. Mm, point taken. Okay, top floor of the lobby. We could also just bail out. 
But I want to at least take a look because we ne we. We are done with what we need to do. Oh, not there. Okay, I'm hoping that's a recorded voice. Let's see, I don't think we've been here. Is that recorded voice? Yeah, it's a recording. Thank you. Board employee infractions. Oh, oh, wait, this is this this is where we entered, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's not touch that. Because someone might notice in their sleep that something is different. And foresight. Let's see. Any documents? Any documents at all? Oh, oh, thi oh, this is... Okay. 011-5813. Okay, so th that's what this was that we found the first time here. Okay. Let's see. Two, three. Hmm... See, there's five locks. We know that one. We why is that? Sp okay, that spiral is probably because it, it fits with the code. Uh, because it's, it starts changing uh, exponentially. Let's see. We found one zero zero on one of them. Five. Wait. Three, two, five, thirteen. Is this where we got the code from in the first place, then? And what sort of chicken scrabble is that? Hmm. Does that mean that the codes... Those two codes should still fit with the cipher? I'm, I'm pretty sure we went through the entire length of it. Unless... Hold on. Might it be... Might it be that the number of one spills over to the other? Let's let's give that a shot, and if it's not the case, then we uh, just we just bail. All right. Okay. And it would be one on the last of the third one, then a three on the next, and then. 18. Oh. Wait, why did you move position? It doesn't matter because we can just go straight up. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. She is still turned away so we can use the side door. All right. Uh, one final time. Uh. It can at least no, we know where it now. Or we suspect it. Refocus the game. Okay. I, I keep forgetting that the, the unconscious people don't care if we walk by, but the conscious people can still hear us walk, so we just need to crouch past. Yeah, that, that was just a stupid mistake. That one... Yeah, that one I'll take a, a hit to my pride for. Okay. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen... And then... Not, not lean. Two... One... Um, 
31. I'm not sure if I heard a click there. I'm not hearing a click. Hmm. Twenty one, thirty four, and then five five. No, hmm. Am I over zero one 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 two three five eight thirteen twenty one? 21, then... <clears throat> uh, it, it should be it, I think. Hmm. What are we doing wrong? It, it continues the cipher of counting up. Hmm. What is that? How you... Counter it wrong. Yeah, it should be correct with these three at least because they clicked. Like we, like we can check. Yeah, audible click. Oh, I think I see it. We're forgetting this one. It needs to go even higher up the list. Or up the line, I think. So if we have 21, then 3, 4, 21, and uh, I'm going to take a little note here just to make this easier on myself. So we have 8, 13. That makes 21. That then makes... Oh, I... 34. Yes. And that then makes 55. Then 89. And then we get into too high a number to fit, I think. Or at least I hope. Uh, let's see. 8, 13. 2, 1, 3. 4... Four, five, five. Yes. And then we have eight, nine, one. Yep. Now, come on. There we go. <laughs> Achievement unlocked obsessive <laughs> save cracker. <laughs> Okay, gimme. What What Let's the see. heck is that? Yeah, okay, that must be one of the prototype masks. Oh. What about a mosquito mask? A note on Clockwork Allegiance. There's an uncomplicated grace to my machines which few in the Isles appreciate. That's not to say they are simple. My Clockwork soldiers are not simple, oh no. Their complexity is beyond the comprehension of the patrons who purchase them for their saloons. Uh, well beyond that the, uh, of the Duke and his Grand Guard, and beyond those small-minded imbeciles at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. And rightly praised for the intricacy of their design. <clears throat> but at once, I recognize that they are infinitely more simple than schemers who sing praises from one side of their mouth while muttering curses with the other. Now, I could never abide duplicity, Barring sabotage, my clockwork soldier is no friend from foe and will never confuse the two. And should one of my cloying clients have purchased one of my clockwork soldiers try to turn against me once they have the power of my greatest generation at their disposal, they will swiftly learn uh, what uh, true integrity is. All of my clockwork soldiers will respond to the spoken code JIN 469-IFF and realign their allegiance with the speaker. I alone know this sequence and it will be locked away for all time. My machines will never be used against me 
that is their inestimable, uh, inestimable beauty. The irony being that, well, <laughs> uh, we used his own machine to turn him into an idiot. And yeah, just not his clockwork machine, it's just another machine we used that against himself. Let's see, that is Blink Eye. And what do you do? Uh, there. Targets marked with foresight have reduced. Oh, that. That is very good. Okay, we're putting that on and we're, we're replacing this one with, where was it? Strong arms. That, that will be invaluable to us. That was definitely worth it. Nice. Let's see. Empress Emily Caldwin moves to heal Fractured Empire. Renovation pro... Oh, they actually written stuff here. Let's see. Renovation projects uh, in the Tower District are finally on the way as the last funeral rites were performed for High Overseer Yul Kulan and the, and the Brothers of the Fate who died in the attempt to retake Dunwall Tower from the now deposed usurper Delilah Copperspoon. The Abbey of the Everyman has spent the last several months concentrating and interring the remains of the fallen while also removing dangerous and heretical objects from the Imperial Palace. With representatives from the Isles beside her, Empress Emily Caldwin issued a statement yesterday morning urging unity in the wake of this great tragedy. The Empire's strength is not in its diversity of thought, or is in its diversity of uh, diversity of, uh, of thought and action. Working together, there is nothing we can't accomplish. We are pleased to reassert our partnership with the sovereign nations of Morley, Serkonos, and Tivia from, for our mutual peace and prosperity. Following these proceedings, several imperial proclamations have been issued with the aim of to restore trade networks and communication across the Isles. Several large-scale public works have been announced, with architectural firms in Serkonos and Morley already competing for the commissions. I think we might have already read that somewhere else. Let's see. Uh, she'd be done. Uh, she'd done up one of her bedchambers with velvet and candles. If uh, she had brought in a lamp, it would have looked shabby, but the candles made it eerie. I uh, suppose that was the point. One of her servants must have sent up an audiograph to play music behind a curtain too, uh, because I could have heard muffled strings all evening. We, we sat around a table and held hands and chanted over the little bit of whalebone she had found. It felt stupid, really. I was hoping for uh, more. Some thunder or a witch to appear and dance at the table for us, I don't know. <laughs> but I sensed a presence, some restless energy. It's hard to describe. Something was reaching out to me. Maybe it was mother? But it was upset, angry almost. It felt uh, like the time I got tangled in weeds at the bottom of the estate district pond. And ponds and father had to jump in to save me. I didn't tell anyone. I know it was just a silly game, but if we can capture voices in audiograph machines or light uh, with those new silver graphs, then why can't we capture spirits in some kind of machine too? I should talk to Anton. Wait. Is this Piero's locker? From the first game? Maybe? See the Child Empress. Oh, we've seen this one before. It's about <laughs> Emily kicking ass. Next one. Oh, that's pretty nice. We can't fit it yeah. in the pocket, though. That's somehow we can. But is that just a massive chunk of gold? It is, and how has it not broken the shelf? <laughs> Well, it's a chunk of something, at least. <laughs> Let's take that. Let's uh, start rushing a bit. Uh, speculations on the afterlife. If all spirits vanish into the void upon their demise, uh, why then are the wandering ones from folk tales and legends always unhappy? Uh, where are the tranquil and benevolent spirits? Do they not linger in the void like their darker counterparts? I think not. Uh, those who lead virtuous lives receive the gift of oblivion upon passing. They dissolve into the void like mist, casting off the worrisome uh, shackles of mortal identity to become one with the fundamental materials. Wicked spirits, however, earn a cruel fate. Their punishment is to wander the void for eternity, unable to return to this world and contact loved ones. 
They retain only memory enough to suffer. Imagine their pain, drifting through empty expanses alone for centuries. No sensation, no solace, no redemption. An unmoored spirit grasp, uh, gasping with regret in a sea of nothingness forever. A reasonable point. Though then again, it's of course impossible to uh, confirm or deny. Let's see. Has she moved enough for... She can still see over here. Hmm. Wait, yep. Okay, that was odd. <laughs> Why did her vision cone spin, spin around like that? Wait, you didn't notice? You notice what? That it spun earlier or something? She sneezed. Yeah, I noticed that, but why? <laughs> her vision cone spun around her like she was seeing through the back of her head. Oh. I thought she was just looking away due to sneezing. Uh, for that, she would have needed to do like a, a backflip. Okay. How the how do you sneeze? Do you backflip when you sneeze? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now to just get out, because we've spent almost two hours in here. I gotta say, I do li I do like this level. It's it's reasonably small, so it makes up for it with a lot of verticality, and well intricacy with the codes and such. And challenges. Um, let's not go out through the front door, also because it is locked, like we on the uh, control board that we saw in there. Instead, there we go. And I believe it's over here. Nope. It is somewhere here that we can exit. Should be around the corner. Yep. Um, have we? I'm pretty sure that we've been here. Apparently not. Anything of use here? Yep. Yeah, we've definitely not been here. Because we've not been hurt the entire time. DAAC meeting minutes. Uh, the, never really liked why this word is used for these notes. Let's see. Domestic account uh, acquisitions committee meetings. Uh, in attendance, Mora, Vesper, Pilar, Carly, Louise. Uh, agenda items. Legacy accounts. At quarter, legacy accounts are accruing interest at higher rates than new ones. Bristro. None issue because the accounts are for nobles who receive higher rates for in incentivi to incentivize large you know, deposits. Roberts in equity never you know, a good thing, bad for business if word got out. Oh, so they're giving preferential treatment to nobility, of course. Uh, Michael knows and doesn't care. Item closed, of course. Promotions. Uh, new accounts not achieving quotas, suggestions for raising number, all the contests, second, what prizes, Tivian spa vacation, vacation not, uh, not interest uh, elite clients, contest not intended for nobles, agree. Uh, Bristrom leaves. Uh, tickets to a Sean Yu performance, seconded, we'll get our information discussed with Michaels, and adjourned. Handwritten notes. Uh, Louise, uh, please help me defang Bristro at meeting uh, at today's meeting. You know how that pompous old bloatface detests every idea I put forth and wants to divert all efforts toward his account holders. Uh, all you need do, uh, to do is suggest a contest when I call for promotion ideas. Perhaps when he, uh, then he won't squelch the idea right off. Okay. So a um, minor bit of colluding between these two. Hmm. Yeah, even inside a bank, you have politics of its own. Uh. How did we miss that if we? this is how we got in? Well... You're easily distracted. <laughs> okay. Is that going to end, send us back immediately? 
Uh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot that you can charge the gun. Mess when they find out what I've done. But until then, nothing but quiet. Okay. Again, that these focus the game. There we go. Um. Wait, oh, oh, this is a different entrance. Okay. Uh, this place. Because we knocked out the people up here. Or rather, I believe we killed them. But nobody inside has been harmed. And that's what was wanted for these things. Now then. Yep. That's a lot of shackles off of us. That is still up there. Can we actually call it... Yes, there's a switch up there. We can call it back down. Almost. Yeah, we wouldn't have fallen off. The gap is too close. Or too small. We never saw him again. All right. They're going to be so confused that everyone outside of the bank is dead. But <laughs> nobody inside was touched. Like, that, that contrast is going to be so confusing to the investigators. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, we have the last contract here. This ugly thing. We know that somebody has the key to it. But we don't know where they are, I think. Uh, London for sale, safety numbers. Yeah, we have no idea where they are. So let's just go take a quick check there again. Uh, no need to be stealthy now. And if we can find something quickly, then uh, we'll just go chase after that. Otherwise, we're just leaving. Oh, bone charm. Oh, there. Okay. Another reason for us to get... Wait. Delivery boat key? Did they drown? No. Huh? Oh, yeah, they... They drowned. <laughs> okay, that's going to be make things a lot easier for us. <laughs> okay, and the, the blade just completely dissolves. Like... I saw a hand. But, uh, I don't think that's supposed to be the... They glitched out. <laughs> they glitched into the freaking floor. Or through the floor. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that wasn't supposed to happen. So, yeah, that painting is quite literally out of our reach. Because we can't teleport into this thing. And, well, the key is just inside of the boat. I'm curious, how did that happen? Give him a handshake. He deserves a handshake. <sighs> okay. And a lot more neutral in the lethal to non-lethal. Uh, still a bunch of times that we detected. <laughs> still a bunch of murders on our name. A bunch of uh, bone chums missed. Wait, look at the coins. Hmm? 6666. Six, six, six. <laughs> um, shall we worried? No. At least we got this one done. We forgot. Well, we failed these. Uh, overheard. Da, 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 da. Oh, gemstone. Oh, oh, we forgot that. Okay. Yeah, we did. Uh, we got to remind you of that one. Today I opened my own lockbox. Three. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that would have been the code to the lockbox. Yeah. We... Hmm. That, yeah, that doesn't fit with the cipher of the vault. Oh, well. State the bank personnel copied the address without being detected. Okay.
Okay, I was expecting a, uh, <clears throat> I was expecting a cutscene there, but apparently not. Let's see the stolen archive. Eliretterio Cienfuegos, an ex member of, of the ILA, stole important documents. Away, uh, stole important documents about how to enter the void and send them to the Royal Conservatory. Make your way inside and look for the stolen archive. Yeah, I thought I thought we'd be going back to the, uh, we were going back to the boat. So are we actually going to find him dead there? I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars. Water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dowd, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful wail burned to cinders, did the outsider laugh or just watch? Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. Dowd is dead, and Megan Foster died with him. One of the Eyeless, a painter and pharmacist, stole information about how to enter the void. His name was Cienfuegos, and he was obsessed, just like the rest of them. But he went too far. Before the Eyeless killed him, he sent what he'd stolen to the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Maybe she could have helped him. He never found that out. The curator is gone, but whatever Cienfuegos sent her is still there. The Abbey of the Everyman has taken over. They've sent overseers and oracular sisters to search the place for heresy. I need to find whatever's left of the pharmacist's archive before they tear the conservatory apart. Okay, I did not expect her to burn her own ship down. Same. Do they expect him? Like, did he just die of age? Looks like it. Because mm, we don't know how old he was at the time of Dishonored 1. Uh, could have been 40, 50. Younger, yeah. perhaps. And also, uh, hmm. when we found him, they were, he was not in a good condition in the way they chained him up to a shell and all that. Yeah, and he, he definitely looked elderly, so... Yeah, it could have just been that he was approaching that time, or maybe bearing the outsider's mark ages you faster or something. Uh, so far, I just suspect that the way they had him, you know, box so much and use the force him to use magic so much might have uh, yeah like uh, using too much magic at once and in recklessly like he has done at the end in the box you know, might have uh, you know harm his health a lot like over exercising like train too much can harm you yeah let's see uh, okay. are doing. I don't remember I think I think I heard a a running Olympics actually died out of a heart attack while running. Yeah, that, I've heard of that happening once or twice, I believe. I just quick reading this. Yeah, it, it seems that some of those paintings that we've seen that resemble the void were this guy's work, apparently. Ah. Let's see, missing pharmacist found dead. The horrifying find of a bloodless body in an alley of Jaconda uh, Street has the Grand Guard on high alert. The victim was Elicio Hesianfergus, a respected pharmacist whose family business has been a part of the Upper Syria District community for over 50 years. His body was ensanguinated at another location and dumped in the alley, the same method used in several other recent deaths. 
The guard has no uh, has had no comment on the apparent serial murders, leading some residents to question what they're hiding. Uh, it's another crown killer, that's what, claims local baker Madeira, uh, Madeira uh, Jimenez. The guard says, uh, don't panic, but why wouldn't we? We're all at risk. A reward is offered for information related to his death. No, oh, <laughs> that helps. Uh, Karen Baula Gallery is supported through a generous donation by Dolores Michaels, director of Michaels Deposit and Loan. Okay. Some lines get fixed on one thing and never find a way out. Cienfuegos wanted to see the void. Well, maybe he's seen it now. True. Let's see. Page from Dolores' journal. Before I can send it to, uh, That's one we read earlier. Months ago, the conservatory closed with barely a warning. The Abbey is only just finding out what black magic was being practiced inside. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have much issue with finding heresy. It's more going to find all of the heresy that was left behind. Oh dear. Let's see. Blind Sisters search Royal Conservatory. In an unexpected turn of events, the Abbey of the Everman has deemed it necessary to dispatch members of the Regular Order to investigate the Royal Conservatory. Readers will remember the sudden closure of the Royal Conservatory last year, with a representative citing an infestation of mites. This did not explain, however, the presence of the Grand Guard at all hours, nor the strange women spotted in and around the building. As the Abbey sends its most secretive members to the site, we may only conclude that some event of great concern has occurred there. The Blind Sisters, as they are known, were seen early this morning entering the Royal Conservatory with a contingent of overseers. When approached by comments, the Sisters of the Regular Order did not respond, and your humble journalist was forcibly encouraged to leave the area. Large bonfires have since been kindled in the streets. It is believed that portions of the Royal Conservatory's once impressive collection may have already been burned. In the interest of safety, Sylvia Gardens District has been placed under lockdown on the authority of the Abbey of the Everyman, and the residents are reminded to comply with all overseer orders. Okay, the sounds like a new enemy. Order is here. That's strange. They almost never leave their chapels. And Only then we the have outsider these... knows how long the Eyeless have kept their hideout a secret. I'll find out where it is. Okay. Two photos of the same area, but there is a difference. Like there's a building there. I can't tell if that is a building as well, or... There's definitely something here. Hmm. Five, a five day diff. Oh, but there's definitely this gate is not there in the other one. Do we so, yeah, notice that? I was looking more at this. I was more looking at this shape here. Yeah, sometimes oh. you can look too closely and just miss things. And here's a map. We've already been the here. The I need could be in the archives down in the conservatory basement or in the curator's office. It'll be full of Abbey zealots either way. Stay in the ro oh, oh, that that's our stuff packed up. That's going to be our exit point. For years, we planned jobs just like the bank. Watching houses from rooftops, stealing keys, bribing servants, sharpening our blades as we waited for the right moment. You were proud of what we could do. I knew that much. I never told you about my time in Karnaka. How I came to Dunwall. How the outsider marked me. And made me the man I was. As I look out on the water for the last time, I know none of that matters. Who I thought I was will end with me. All that will be left of me is your memories. You were the best I ever taught. Your betrayal was expected. For the lives we led then, you had no choice but to turn against me. But now, I find myself counting on you again. You have what you need. 
You will find out what to do. It's time, Billy. We kill the outsider. Remove this terrible power from the world. For everything we did. And everything it did to us. I could have died a hundred bloody ways. But in the end, here I am. On your ship. Sipping your last good whiskey. <laughs> That's not so bad. Thank you, Billy. And farewell. Hmm. Yeah, we've we've brought this up again, but it feels like he is blaming the outsider or trying to uh, push responsibility of his actions onto the outsider because yeah, the outsider gave him his powers, but he was the one who ultimately decided what to do with them. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we're the outsider. At the turn. Only give power yep. to people they want to see if they can handle the power or not. No. Yeah, people he finds interesting. Hmm. I'll finish what you started, Doubt. Hmm. Yeah, now we're here during the daytime. We need only record the heretical text we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. We should see if Sister Rosewood needs a hand, though. Mm. She discovered There's nothing I can see from that fire. It's all ashes. Uh, what now? I need to check that ledger and see if what I want is still here. More bizarre cures for impotence? I tell you, I've seen enough take one mandrake root recipes to last a lifetime. No, this was different. Sister Rosewind saw the archive's hiding place in a vision. She seemed deeply disturbed by what was in it, from what Brother Diaz told me. He heard her whisper, this could destroy the Abbey. What? Stop this talk. It is nearing blasphemy. Okay, that sounds interesting. Because wouldn't it be the an hilarious irony if the Abbey of the Everyman, uh, or at least their actual mystical powers, are based on the Void's powers as well? And That sounded like I was being spotted. Yeah, that sounds interesting to say the least. <clears throat> but we yeah. are out of time. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, let's save. <clears throat> How long have we been at it this now? Seven hours. Okay, so seven and a half. Oh, okay. yes, no, that's the date. The third of third. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Definitely, I, I'm really interested. You know, I really want to know what that uh, is, what they found or they expect to find in there. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in how these, or how these uh, silent sisters will be as enemies. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as well. But wait, silent sisters? I thought they were blind. Uh, yeah, bl blind. Yeah, I. Um. I think we've read somewhere that they... I'm not sure if they fully blind themselves or if they just yeah, wear masks or blindfolds or something. But I'm going to guess that they can't actually see, but that they can probably hear you a lot better. Possibly. Do mm. they have a lot of bodyguards? Like, they, they don't seem to be on much of a frontliners. Yeah. <clears throat> but we'll have to wait for that when we catch up on the stream we should have been doing Tuesdays uh, due to visitors. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to do that tomorrow because yeah tomorrow is already planned in with something else with friends. So we'll be catching up on this game on Monday instead if yeah hopefully nothing else falls through for whatever reason. <coughs> yeah, let's hope Everything will go smooth. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, Saturday... Actually, uh, what should we be doing? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Saturday, more Monkey Island 2. Sunday will be Showcase Sunday as usual. As usual. And yeah, Monday and Tuesday will be continuing with this game. 
Mm. Correct. Okay. So, for now then, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, General Kenobi and uh, DevMJ for chatting along. And, as always, thank you especially, Drakir. I won't look the wrong way. <laughs> You're most welcome, my friend. So, yeah, schedule is known. So, yeah, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for rats.